the artificial trainer here. Today I have a quick video about latent sync and how we can use it to add talking to our videos. Um, uh, today I'm going to be using Honeyoon video and picking up where my Honeyoon video um, tutorial left off. So if you haven't watched that video and you don't have Honeyoon and you don't know how to install Honeyoon already, uh, I would pick up, start with that. Your other option would be to just drop a video um, that you've already created in uh, where I show you once we have Wait and Sync installed. Um, so let's jump right into it. I already have a pod spun up with Honeyoon installed as I mentioned. Latent sync is actually pretty light, so you don't need a 4090 if you're not going to install Honeyman video. You probably only need like maybe 30 gigabytes if you're just going to upload a video that you already created and, and use that. Um, so here is my Comfy UI installation. It's, in, it's running on my pod here. Um, so the first thing I want to do is activate my virtual environment that I've already set up. Next, I want to install the latent sync nodes. Okay, so uh, if you just Google latent sync comfy UI wrapper, you'll find this GitHub page. Um, and it is a pretty simple install. There's a couple gotchas, but we'll go through all the requirements necessary. So first thing we need to do is clone the GitHub repository into our custom nodes, like always. Git clone custom nodes slash comfy UI dash latent sync wrapper. Okay, so that'll clone that into our custom nodes. Um, next thing we need to do is install the requirements. So pip install dash r custom nodes slash comfy UI dash latent sync wrapper slash requirements dot txt. Okay, so now all those requirements are installed. There are a couple other requirements um, that are not mentioned in the GitHub, but you'll you'll get them once you, uh, like when you try to run it, you'll get some errors. So we'll just install those for you. I kind of already did that discovery. So the first one that you're gonna need is, you need to install FFmpeg on the Ubuntu image. Okay, so that's installed. And then we need to, I'm just gonna install the Python package for FFmpeg as well. Okay, and then the last thing is you need a package called AV. So pip install AV. Okay, and while we're doing this also, let's just create the shell script. Um, so latent sync, um, video.sh. So the first thing we did was we um, went to the workspace slash comfy UI folder and we cloned the latent sync wrapper nodes. And then we installed the requirements.txt. Then we installed FFmpeg and the Python package for FFmpeg. And then we installed the Python package AV. Okay, so that is everything to, that's all the um, libraries for latent sync. The only other thing is we need the models. Um, you can just let these install automatically, but I like to just 
put all the models in my shell script if I can, so that I know once I, once it's done installing, I can just um, I can just start using it. I don't have to wait for any models to download. So um, we have two custom nodes here that are necessary. Or sorry, we have two models that are necessary for this custom node. One is this link latent sync unit, and one is this uh, tiny model. If we take a look here, uh, so here's the latent sync unit. Let's copy that. And where does it want us to put it? So it wants us to put it inside the wrapper in this checkpoints folder. Okay, so um, our root right now is comfyui. So we want to do aria 2 c dash c dash s 16 dash x 16 paste the url in then use dash d for and then we want to do our directory so it told us to put it in the checkpoints folder that's inside the wrapper folder and then we'll call this output just latent sync unit.pt because that's what it told us to name it. Okay, and then for the next one, we need to create a folder inside this checkpoints folder. Okay, so let's do a make directory command and we're gonna make the whisper folder. Okay, and then the last thing is just to download that whisper model. There it is. Dash D. And then um, we want to put this model inside the whisper folder and we call it tiny.pt. Okay, so let's run these two commands. Make sure you create that whisper folder. Okay, and we should be good to run now. All right, so uh, let's Go back. We need to restart. Um, actually, we're just going to go into ComfyUI. Use the ComfyUI manager to restart. Alternatively, you could kill the process here and re rerun ComfyUI. But I already have it running, so I'm just going to use the ComfyUI manager. Okay. So now on to the workflow. So this is uh, just a standard Hanyuan workflow. Oh, sorry, I need to refresh. So. Latent sync. So here's the latent sync node. There's also a here he show he actually shows us the workflow. So there's a video length adjuster node as well, which is really useful. Uh, video length adjuster. I'll show you how to use this in a minute. Um, and then we have our audio, which is the load audio. And then we have, um, and then from there, we want to drag our audio up into the latent sync node, and then we can combine our video from there. Combine and drag your audio over to the video. Make sure, um, so good thing to note here, the latent sync outputs a video that's 25 frames per second. So if your video is significantly different than 25 frames per second, um, you're going to end up with an either really slow or really fast video and it probably won't look how you're expecting. Um, I don't have that issue here because Hanyuan has outputs 24 frames per second. 
um, as it is. If I wanted it to be perfect, I could do some interpolation to make the Hunyuan output 25 frames per second, but um, I, I don't care too much for... You're not going to see a massive uh, slowdown or speed up from 24 to 25 frames per second. Okay, and then the last thing we're going to do is change our format to MP4. All right, um, and then I liked this this uh, video of a man sitting on a bench. I think it's good. it gives us pretty good clarity of the face, and I think it's going to make the the generation really easy for the audio. So the last thing we need to do is generate our audio. Um, so I'm going to use Eleven Labs for this. Eleven Labs gives you quite a bit of free generations. Uh, I believe it gives you like ten minutes or so. So you can choose from a bunch of different people. I, I think I'm going to use this guy Bill. He's it sounds pretty pretty good for a uh, a man sitting on a stool and talking. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Okay, so let's type, um, let's do like, uh, hi, I am sitting on a bench, on a bench, I am being used to test the latent sync nodes in Comfy UI. This is pretty impressive, don't you think? All right, let's generate that, see how it sounds. Hi, I am sitting on a bench. I am being used to test the latent sync nodes in Comfy UI. This is pretty impressive, don't you think? Okay, so that sounds pretty good. Let's download that and let's upload it. And let's see how it sounds. Hi. I am sitting on a bench. I am being used to test the latent sync nodes in Comfy UI. This is pretty impressive, don't you think? Hi. Okay, so the audio uploaded fine. And then the last thing I want to do is I'm going to change the number of frames here to show one of the cool features of latent sync. So um, I'm going to just generate with like 20 frames. And then we are going to ping pong the video so that so it's basically going to play the video forwards and backwards, and then it's going to um, map the mouth movements over that video that's playing forwards and backwards for as long as the audio is. So this is only a, um, this is like a less than a one second video. So it's going to bounce back and forth nine times um, and extend the video to to match up with the audio. All right, so let's run it. All right, and here is our output. Hi, I am sitting on a bench. I am being used to test the latent sync nodes in Comfy UI. This is pretty impressive, don't you think? Pretty, pretty good for a free open source model, and um, it's pretty quick, honestly. Once you have the, the video generation is the longest part. Once you have the video generated, latent sync takes, you know, one or two minutes to actually um, overlay the lip sync. I'm going to generate a uh, higher resolution video for you real quick just to um, just to show you at a higher resolution how, how it behaves. Alright, so I'm, I'm going to do um, 1280 by 720 and I upped the number of frames to 33 to see if it helps get rid of some of this graininess since the model's trained on longer generations. All right, and so we actually got two people in this generation, but the mouth was only generated on one of the people, which is pretty cool. So this is what that generation sounds like and looks like. Hi, I am sitting on a bench. I am being used to test the latent sync nodes in Comfy UI. This is pretty impressive, don't you think? Um, I'm going to do one more with a close-up of someone as a demo, just to really see the, the mouth movement. All right, and then here is this output. Hi, I am sitting on a bench. I am being used to test the latent sync nodes in Comfy UI.
This is pretty impressive, don't you think? The thing I want to show you how to do is how to use a Laura to generate a consistent character and then be able to make that character talk. I could see this being used to make like a movie or a, a short story or something. Could could be pretty cool. Um, so all you need to do is drag this Laura down and you'll get the Honey Video Laura Select node. You also want to pull this block blocks out and you want to only use the double blocks. So we want to turn all the single blocks off. Okay. And this Laura, it's just one that I found on Civit AI, but you can use any Laura um, that you've trained. I have a video on training Laura's for Honeyman video if uh, you're interested in creating your own. All right, so just so we get faster generation times, we're gonna drop this down to 21 and go 960 by 544 for width and height. Um, and then we will, I'm gonna run like four of these so that um, I can stitch them together and kind of show you how it maintains a consistent character. All right, so those are done generating. And this is what our outputs look like. Hi, I am sitting on a bench. I am being used to test the latent sync nodes in Comfy UI. This is pretty impressive, don't you think? So if you wanted to do you know, make a, a virtual movie star or something like that, this might be a great way to, uh, to get started. Okay, so that's everything for latent sync. I'll just show you real quick how to, if you have, if you already have a video and you just want to add audio to it, this is how you would do it. So I'm going to delete all of the Hanyuan workflow. And then I'm just going to add a load video upload node and then I just like to force the frame rate to 25 when I upload a video so just upload the video using this node um, upload your audio and run it through and you'll you'll get an output okay so that's it for this video uh, thank you for to all of you who have subscribed so far, thank you. I've been really appreciating um, all of your comments and all of your your kind words and uh, encouraging me as I've, I got as I've gotten started with this journey. I, I'll have improvements coming soon. I have a Patreon set up. I, I'd like to get a Discord started soon where you can uh, be a member and ask me questions. Uh, but until then, just leave your questions and comments in the comments down below and I will, I'll answer them there. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will talk to you again next time.